Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back with another American candy trying video. Woo! Woo it just keeps coming. It keeps coming. It keeps coming, coming, coming. Well. It's like the rain. It just keeps coming. Yeah. Today is. Try Food Thursday. Um, today's candy box is brought to us from Maryland. Maryland, home of the great. Have we had anything from Maryland yet? I'm not sure. Anyway, we've got some lovely things here. So we have two stickers. I feel like oh, these are cool. those car stickers that you yeah, put in they're your- Yeah, definitely those car stickers. So we've got three postcards here, which are really nice. Hi from MD. Hello from MD. MD. So we have here- the Managing director. Officially adopted by law on March 9th, 1904, the Maryland state flag is the only state flag based on heraldic emblems. The design of the flag is taken from the shield in the coat of arms of the Calvert family, the colonial prop proprietors. Prop proprietors of the state of Maryland. Ooh. Hi, Alex and Kate, actually. Oh, he's been bumped to the front. Hello. <laughs> I used to say Kate and Alex. I was like, hi, Kate and Alex. He's like, yeah. no. Hi, Alex and Kate. I wanted to send you a special box from Maryland with special treats made right here in Baltimore. Baltimore, yeah. Big up hairspray. Yeah. Along with some other candies that are just new. I also included my favorite chips that are made in PA. And of course, I had to include an almond joy for you to try since we know your dislike for mounds. <laughs> Lol, I'm a 30 year old single mum to three amazing kids and we all love to watch your videos together. Enjoy from Vanessa, Mila, Cade and Sierra is that? Looks like it. We hope you've got all your names right but wow what a great bunch yeah. of names they are. Hey, that's awesome. That's a great name. I'm excited Sorry. about, even though I did like Mounds, I'm excited because I feel like loads of people said Mounds is the cheaper version of Almond Joy. Yeah. As always, shall we start with some chips? Yes. These are her favourites. Now, in a few boxes oots, ago, oots. we did try some Oots or UTZ. It sounds like a, um, you know, a beatboxer. <laughs> oh, and this is what? Lobster. The crab chip. The crab chip. I love that. Potato chips with Chesca Peak. Bay. Chesapeake Bay. Chesapeake Bay crab seasoning. You just We're said in it's Chesapeake Bay. Chesapeake. And, 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 uh. Oh, I didn't get that. I love this packaging. It's so like old school. We had a spy on the inside. That's right, Hercules Mulligan. See, I like Hamilton, but the words are too fast. I can't hear. I can't understand. I don't know how you grab those words. Because I listen. Yeah. Anyway, I just love that. The colours are so like old school, aren't they? Yeah. So we've got uh, two bags. Do you want me to pop them open? I yeah. like yeah. These are nibble with gibbles. Gibbles. What is it? <laughs> Nibble, what are these? Nibble the crab with chip. gibbles. Gibbles. Nibble with gibbles. Gibbles. Homestyle potato chips. And I think these are just like natural. Which would be perfect. Maybe we should make a quick announcement. Because if you like crisps or potato chips right now Ooh. on our British Candy Box website, you can buy a whole box of crisps slash potato chips. A whole box of chips. Only, you, no chocolate. And you, so you can enjoy them more if you like, you know, we're giving three of each flavor, aren't we? Mm. These are Whoa. good, but I do, I'm not sure I'd taste crab. Mm. Mm. We yeah. kind of thought that at first with um, Tim Marie, who sent us two boxes previously, just sent us a box to enjoy as a family. And she sent us um, so strong. lobster ba lobster bisque ones. And at first you can't taste the lobster, can you? I can only taste like chemicals and they're all written on the back. Really? Why are there so many chemicals in Whereas there? Whereas try that, so natural. I think, right, where's the ingredients on here? Potatoes, prime lard, oh, they're not great. Salt, what, like, why do you need maltodextrin and whatever, all that other stuff? Just chips, salt and pepper. Mm. It's almost like barbecue. A spicy barbecue. I can't really taste any crab in there. And it almost tastes more like kind of like Worcester sauce almost. It's mm. like you, you can taste it's pungent. I'm not the greatest fan of these, but these, on the other hand, are really great. I wish they? I'd had these first because I can't yeah, really taste I them. Yeah, I kind of, as I was eating them, I was thinking you should have them first. Because mm. if you look on this, look how much flavour that looks like it's got. However, we're not used to this flavour at all. These taste so plain now, but I bet they are good. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid these are just like now. a five, but these were delicious for a, just a plain salted chip. They look really pale, don't they? They are so Because they're pale. slow cooked. Uh, these are like an eight. Got a really good crunch to it. It might be because it's after them, but I think they're only a seven and these are probably yeah. a five. You probably would have given them more. Mmm, mmm. That one was really salty. This is something perfect for you. 
beer, beer nuts. nuts. Original peanuts, the unique sweet and salty taste. Beer nuts brand snacks. I've never heard of beer nuts before. No. Do they grow on trees or? <laughs> Rag and Melbourne, that's a nice opener. Are they just are they just peanuts? Sweet right? and salty, they say. I wonder if they're slightly caramelised. Very good. They're not caramelised at all, but they are good. Hmm. I wouldn't necessarily say sweet. They're not very sweet at all. But as a peanut goes, mm. quite nice. They're not that salty though, are they? No. I feel like you might enjoy this. What is it? Bird food. <laughs> it's not really. It does look like bird food. Mm. It's from the Jeffy. I've literally got a pot of that. Mm. Oh, it's not that. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There's a pot of like mixed nuts and seeds over there. So this is Jeppy, I think you would say it. Yeah. Nut Company, and this is obviously made in Maryland, or, or might not be, it's called the Maryland Mix. Whether or not they're grown in Maryland, we don't know, but it's definitely mixed there. And it's got things like um, almonds in, raisins, sunflower seeds. Since 1884, put your hand out there. Now these are healthy things, so I don't enjoy these as much. <laughs> but you will love this, don't you? Yeah, if we got a whole bag of box of these, I'd, I'll be, just, uh, you I'd be so put it in impressed. Your hand. <laughs> I love me some seeds. Yeah. That's why I got them out. You just took a raisin. I did. Oh. <laughs> I thought you just took one raisin. Yeah. Right, I've got to throw them all in so I'll see what they're like together. Ready? Nice mix. Healthy. Nice ratio of seeds to nuts and then raisins adding a little bit of sweetness. Very nice. These do look nice. I'm mm. just, my mouth palate hasn't matured yet. I just, I don't enjoy like nuts and seeds as much as you do, mm. do you? But would you put those in your pot and enjoy? Yeah. Yeah, so Alex. It's an A star for nut mix. Mm. Oreos, Oreos. Okay, so we have actually had these before. Oh, we have had these. These are apple pie, artificially flavored Oreos with a gram flavored cookie. Mm. These are limited edition. And we like the ones with the gram flavored cookie, I'm pretty sure we? we did, yeah. I feel like we tried these at the same time as something pumpkin pie. Yeah, because we brought these back from America the first Halloween video we did, I think. Yeah. They were like their full ones. We had um, pumpkin and... and I don't think yes. you th you thought the apple was a bit too like a green apple, too artificial. Mm. She will kind of think the same thing. Mm. They are good, don't get me wrong, but it would have been my first choice of Oreo. But in terms of taste, while you're eating that, it mm. really does taste like you're eating an apple pie, doesn't and it? And I do really enjoy the gram biscuit, mm. as opposed to a normal biscuit for a change. I feel like I prefer that this time. Maybe your palate's matured. I think it also definitely does depend like what order you try things in. Like maybe mm. on that previous video we tried the pumpkin first yeah. or something. Like trying that on its own, I can really taste the apple pie and it really gives you an aftertaste of apple pie. That's why you should cleanse pie. your palate. So if well, you enjoy good, apple pie, you'd like those. I, I would give really those good. a nine out of 10 though. Yeah. I'll Ooh. give them about eight and a half, nine. Really good. This looks what's cool, that? doesn't it? Yeah. What were that. you looking at? I was just wondering what's in that jar there. Oh, this? is Old Bay seasoning. For seafood, poultry, salads and meats. How oh, funny. What's it say there? Should we dab a finger on it? Yeah, go for it. Has dabbing literally died off? Now it's just a yeah, reference. Yeah, like no one dabs anymore, do they? And actually, no, before we start onto this, I feel like we should try this popcorn. Oh yeah. So this is Fisher's popcorn. Our popcorn that. just tastes better. Whoa, can you imagine if I snip really hard and I accidentally yeah. just like snorted it? What did it? you do that with? Did it with frankincense oh, and with myrrh. The frankincense. So I um like Alex and Dad had this frankincense and myrrh. It was after the crystal box yeah. opening. And like they were both saying they could really smell it and I really couldn't. So I closed one nose and I went <sighs> as hard as I could, and then no joke, I thought the inside, the right inside of my head <laughs> was literally disintegrating. I'm never doing anything like that again. <laughs> I don't understand how people can do anything like that. I'm surprised you can still smell through this. I am so your surprised, nose. like it really felt like everything was just crinkling, and crinkling inside and just, yeah, I didn't know if I was ever gonna be able yeah. to smell again or taste again. I was like, my right side of my head was like high for the rest of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is gluten-free, five simple ingredients and handmade. It's Fishers. Fishers popcorn. popcorn. And think. this is their caramel popcorn, or as Americans would say, caramel. caramel. The other flavors are kettle corn and white cheddar. Isn't so what it funny? is kettle corn? Well, because, People were saying, because I I was getting confused. I think kettle corn is just like a, a mix of buttery and sugar. Oh, really? It's just a set flavour. Yeah. No, it's just because you were going to open it Five and then you simple. put it down to explain. And I didn't want someone in the comments, like they sometimes do, going, 
Oh, he always grabs her stuff and opens it. This is a local recipe. Mm. Oh, family. My family has been making handmade caramel popcorn at the beach for over 75 years. Not the way. Beach. Great flavour. It's funny, I don't know why, but like when you look at popcorn like this and in a small bag, you don't expect it to have that like crunch mm, sure. to it anymore. Mm. You only expect that from like fresh popcorn. That's really nice. It's um it's that caramel that is a bit chewy and it gets mm. stuck in your tooth. I actually really like it. Quite buttery. Considering this is like zero trans fat, mm. gluten free, it doesn't taste any different. Oh, mm. yeah. I like that. Nice little um, portion as well. Mm. Often popcorn so big or small. It's the expensive mm. stuff. What are you giving that? Uh, an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'll probably give it an 8 as well. Nice, I wonder how close that is to you, Vanessa. What do you have... Yeah, come on then. Okay, so this is original caramel creams. I feel like I've seen something like this before. And it's obviously, this is like a bar version and it usually comes in something oh, like that. So this is 10 chewy pieces inside and it's obviously the original. Now this looks like it's gonna be really like chewy. Oh, that's cool. I like the way it comes in, because I think a lot of like, when you've got these wrapped up individuals, mm. it's a lot of plastic, isn't it? But if you can do it like this, it's so much better. That's interesting. Funny there's a bit in the middle, isn't it? The caramel is nice on the outside. A bit in the middle is just like icing sugar almost. Mm. It's weird, because the caramel not sweet enough on its own. Funny, isn't it? Mm. Surprisingly not sweet. Not that sweet. I thought that was going to... I looked at that and I was And even the all... sugar in the middle isn't even that sweet. I was it's literally... The reason why I was thinking, should we do these first, is because mm. I thought that was literally going to sweeten us to sweet. death. Yeah. That really actually isn't that sweet. Yeah. Interesting. I thought it was going to be a bit better than that, so... Mm. Not the biggest fan of it. I'd say it was a six. If you're a fan of like caramels but don't like the sweetness too much, go for yeah. those. What do you want to try now? Um, are these just, are these normal Whoppers or are these? Well, no, I think they're different. Because they're oh, called they're dinosaur like... eggs and they've got a crunchy shell this time. Oh, that's cool. So there'll be a crunchy shell, then chocolate, then the malt ball, yeah. I guess. I'm wondering, did this come out around Easter time or was there a film or something? What, what have dinosaur dinosaur, what dinosaurs got to do with Easter? No, but they're eggs. But Easter dinosaurs eggs. eggs. Yeah. Dinosaurs eggs. I know. What's that got to do with Easter? Easter sells eggs. Not dinosaur ones. But they're eggs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Ooh, you're, you're nutty. Either. Oh my word, these are awesome. This looks like the most perfect little dinosaur yeah. egg I've ever seen. Look at that. But then is it funny, the these? pink ones eat smaller. They're like long. Do you reckon this is like a T-Rex egg? Oh, these are so cool. Look at the colour on that one. Maltesers, take note, we need these. Because I like, I love our Maltesers, but I do love a crunchy shell. Mm. Might have this one, actually. Might have these two. See if there's any difference. It works because the, the malt in a Whopper is a lot crunchier, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm, that's good, I like that. I think I prefer these to normal Whoppers. Yeah, definitely. When you've been brought up on something for so long and then you try a different country's version, of course it's always going to taste a bit weird. Mm. So I didn't actually like Whoppers that much because, you know, I got so used to Maltesers. However, with this shell on, I prefer it. Who's that, Michelle? Michelle? I just saw something in the box and I thought of friends. Well, it made me laugh. Tiffy! Because, <laughs> because me and Alex have been watching Friends recently mm. and we've been like trying to work our way through the series. Yeah. And I watched one the other day and I was like, oh my word, if we ever get Taffy again, we have to say this quote. What but I forgot that? the quote. Because she's chewing, she's like, oh, stop, what a Taffy, I've never had that before. And then she's eating it and she's like, what is this? And then she's like, ooh, <laughs> go away. <laughs> say it like that. Can what I the, try a pink what's one? What's up with this? Is it gum? Is it food? <laughs> oh, it's nice. Can I have a pink one? <laughs> She's just so good at yeah. you. you. Comment down below. One? I want to try a pink one for Phoebe. What? I mean, who is your favourite character in Friends? Yeah. Mine always differs, but Phoebe is always up there and so is Ross. Ross is so good. And Joey. I like Joey a lot. She's oh, he's good. Joey's so and good. And so is Monica. Oh, Monica is hilarious. I She's think so each neurotic. season, like... Some of them shine a yeah. bit more, don't they? I just love this box. That's so cool, isn't it? So this is Dolly's. <laughs> what the crap is this? <laughs> what the crap is it? Is it food? Is it chewing? Is it gum? 
So this is oh, so it's nice. Can I have a try a pink one? This is since 1910. Dolly's, they obviously do popcorn, mm. candies, and salt water taffy. This is really this nice. This is actually assorted flavours. But mm. usually they're just one flavour. What flavour do you get? Mm, it's an apple or something. Really? That's really good. I do find with salt water taffy, depending on the cut, it can be quite fragrant, can't yeah. it? Yeah, almost quite fragrant. It's like refreshing. I quite enjoy that, actually. I think that's some of the best salt water taffy I've, I've tried. tried. Yeah, I really too. like that. Yeah, it is the best salt water taffy I've tried. Yeah, that was really good. Mm. I do think like it's very different from anything we have here. So yeah. the, probably the first time we tried it, we were a little bit like, what is that? Kind of yeah. like Phoebe, but actually when you get into it, it's quite really enjoyable. Nice. Right, should we stay local or should we try some more I think let's branded? go Almond Joy. Really? <laughs> get it out of the way. Are you an Almond Joy fan or are you a Mounds fan? Are you a man or are you a mouse? The good thing with this one is it's milk chocolate. Oh, right. Whereas Mounds is dark, I believe. And this is um, almond and coconut. Ooh. Oh no, I didn't realise it was coconut. Yeah. Do you like coconut oil on that? Yeah, but I just don't like coconut chocolates. Oh, hold on, get the it's like bar a bit out. Like a bounty. It's like a bounty, but they have nuts in them. Almond surprise, no, just like on the top. Yeah. Actually, it's got a nice chewy consistency. Mm. Don't just crumble. It is like a bounty. I hope that one day I can enjoy desiccated coconut. Mm. Like having a whole bar of something you enjoy is just so great. But because I just don't like desiccated coconut. I just can't enjoy that. Yeah. I prefer that really? to a mound, definitely. Oh yeah, that's definitely better than a mound. Because it's milk chocolate as well. It's still not my kind of cup of tea. I feel like the inside is thinner, it's more chewy. I think all of these are sweets. So we've got- you get all the sweets out? Yeah, Lifesaver Gummies. Um, although, what's that say? Collisions. Collisions. Two, Two flavors, flavors in, in one. one. Now this is new. Cherry and watermelon. Couldn't they, oh. could they have done strawberry? But they got raspberry lemonade and pineapple punch. I've only just realised what these are. So what? all of this box came in like a bigger box. I've just like done it so it's smaller. These are Nerds Big Chew, what's crunchy and chewy candy. You know Nerds in the little packet, yeah, the little are just ones. Big ones. So I think these are the same brand, but like bigger and chewy. Cool. Oh, it's a reclosable bag. See, that's okay. new. She said she's bringing new stuff out. This is new Starburst gummies, which we've tried but we haven't tried the sours. And then last but not least, Fruit Chews Mini Bites. These are also new. This is from the brand Tootsie. They're candy coated chews. <laughs> what? Just when I hear Tootsie, I get scared. Yeah. So these are all new things. So right. let us know down below if you've tried these. Let's open them all, shall we? Shall I open the nerds? Yep, I'm yeah, really interested to see what they're like. Look at the names. Look at the shape of them. Left click lemon. <laughs> Yeah, is there like a red one over there? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it smells so sweety. Mm. Nice chew. They always have that powdery flavour, mm. don't they? Good chew though. These taste quite a bit like um, the Gobstopper Chewies. Mm. I like love how they've used the power of two sign next to the R for strawberry. R to the power of two Y. Oh yeah. <laughs> the strawberry ones are amazing. Did you open these? Yeah. Kind of looks like something you jump into at a kid's um, ball pond. <laughs> <laughs> what flavour are these? Mm, raspberry. Tootsie redeeming themselves. So that shell is like a chewing gum shell. Mm. Like an orbit. And then the inside is so chewy. Whereas this is like a hard shell. I can't explain it. It's like what cough stuff would be on. <laughs> these do taste a bit perfumey though, yeah. don't you think? Mm, orange one is nice. Green or pink or orange. Oh, I love this green. Love that. Like a teal. Mm. It does say what flavour. Blue raspberry. Oh, there's watermelon ones in here. Mm. Watermelon and strawberry. This green. I love that their green is watermelon and not lime. Mmm. Oh, that nice. watermelon's so good. Okay. Uh, reminds me of a watermelon bubble gum I used to get. Yeah, 100 mm. Although, I wouldn't really say they were sour, but I like that. Only like I like that they're not too sour. These are delicious, and I remember absolutely loving the Starburst gummies the first time we tried them, not yeah. sour. I'm pretty sure it's Stacey Howell who said that. Raspberry us. lemonade? Starburst gummies. Number I like one. That texture. Yeah, one. The strawberry ones. Two. Two. Three. What I quite like that get? raspberry lemonade. I did. I might try pineapple maybe, punch. Can I try one as well? Uh, oh, that's not it. He's a one by a mile. Okay. Even though they're not that tangy, sour. Mm. 
Oh yeah, so if you're not into sour things, don't not buy these because you're not a fan of sour things. Mm. No, no, no. I think these are a... Um, nine? Nine and a half. These are an eight. Eight. These are a... These are a seven. seven. These are a six. And these are probably a seven as well, actually. It depends what flavour you get. Okay, moving on. Well, as these are cookies, do you want to get a, the kettle on? Because we have some awesome tea. So this is a Maryland tea, tea sampler. sampler. So in here you've got Canton spice tea. So oh, I was, so, doing, oh. I was hoping you'd get the inflection oh, as if you'd know. That. No, I'll do the next one. <laughs> Black Raven tea. Chestertown tea. Baltimore Clipper tea and 0800 823 Isn't this amazing? And we've and also got- there's another pack here. This is, I, I love that it's called a sampler. And we've got spiced apricot tea. Peach Melba tea. Okay, you've gone off path Sorry, I thought you were reading that one. Berry Jamboree tea. And blueberry lemon tea. And we have a mug. And this cool Maryland mug. Wouldn't that be like a nice little gift going back home? Yeah, you know. I think that's why she sent it to us. Sorry, do I open um, I was just... Eastern Shore Tea Co, is that who yours is as well? Yeah. Okay. So obviously we're not going to try them all now, but what one do you think we should try? I... Can we try a fruit one? We've got to use them. That mug. is so cool! It's got like a cool texture to I it I thought well. I did. Is it's there a almost... particular one you want to try? I really want to try the peach melba tea. Yeah. I wonder if I can make iced tea with it. Oh, oh my word, this is just 7 .99. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel! Although, this I find that is the peach melba. Peach Melba. I find this interesting because you have to be a left hand mug drinker to be able to show Ooh, the crab. Yeah. But maybe it's so you can so enjoy, you the, can crab. enjoy the crab. So you can enjoy the crab. This is Peach Melba. So we'll enjoy these another time. Very but enjoyable. But for now we've got the Peach Melba. Is it too hot to drink? I think so. Cheers. It smells good though. Maryland is obviously near the water. They said there's a lot of water. Yeah. So I feel like this hat was a very good choice because I feel like this is a kind of hat. A fisherman. You'd see, yeah, a fisherman's hat or something. All right, should we open those cookies then? Considering we've tasted a lot of sweets, I'm surprised I can taste this as well as I can. Yeah. The first sip, I was like, I'm not tasting anything. Yeah. But actually, the more I drink it. Yeah, because it's not, when it says flavours in tea, they're not actually that strong, are no, they? No, because this is, you know, I always thought flavoured tea would be so lovely mm. and juicy, but I'm forgetting that when I have iced tea from Starbucks, there's a load of sugar in there. This is a really nice flavour. I can really taste it. Otter vines, do you think? Otter vines? Otter vines, yeah. And o this beans? is a family bakery. Mini ginger cookies. And these are mini sugar cookies. Ah, uh, that's what mum calls Bob, isn't it? Isn't it? Sugar butty. Oh, sugar butty. Mmm, that really does taste like peach melba. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I have to say I like it. Should we go with the gingers first? Yeah. I go love these packaging, don't you? Ooh, they're so thin there. They're like those ones in the sweet oh, dish. Oh yeah, there really hardly is anything in this. It's like a car. Oh yeah, it is. Mmm. It is thin, isn't it? These are like, um, and. And, yeah, nice. That's mm. nice. Wanna open those? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I like those. It's quite cinnamony. Yeah. Tea. That one's around, but this one's a car again, or a truck, or whatever it is. Hold on, are they all trucks? <laughs> Do you imagine if I just got the one round one? We can't do another round one in here. I wonder if there's a story behind the. Oh, Maybe if you get a round one. Oh, there's a round one. If you get a round one, you win something. These oh, are really good biscuits. Serving size is 12 cookies. Oh, Finally, bad. something that's not stingy. Yeah. Let us know what the relationship to the truck is. Yeah. Or They're really they good. Have... They've got an interesting like aftertaste. Mm. Not bad. Just. Hey, look. Is that going to be a heart? They do have an interesting aftertaste. But I don't dislike. Oh, you're Did right. Did you just move that? Did you just fall off the curb? <laughs> <laughs> you fall asleep for a I was second. doing Dennis. Did you move the table? Yeah. Which one is your top out of those? The sugar cookie. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I do like the sugar cookie, but I was surprised it how much. It is very I... close with the ginger cookie. Mm. I think, although I like ginger snaps here, I do think I like this kind of ginger yeah. cookie better. Yeah, almost more caramel, a bit like yeah. a speculoos almost. And you, and you wouldn't expect fruit tea to go with those sort of things, but it really does. Mm. So good. I'm Delicious. really enjoying this peach tea. Are you? I might look up some recipes on like how to make it into an iced tea. Do you, yeah. Is it just Maybe the fact that's you put you're a ice to lady. it? Mm. 
I'm a servant girl. Because this really is one of the fruitiest teas I've tasted. It's really good, yeah. This is really good. I really like this. In terms of tea, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. In terms of spilling the tea, I'm going to give that a 10 as well. <laughs> That's really good tea. Yeah. What a great box, that. Yeah. A nice mix of um, local things to try and some obviously More new things. things yeah. As they're new things, it would be interesting to know how many of you have actually tried those new things. Yeah. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it, did you? I really enjoyed that. Thank you so much to Vanessa and your three lovely children. We've actually already sent Vanessa a box back. We hope you enjoyed it. If anyone else would like to try some of our British candy, we'll leave a link down below. We have a few new boxes, as Alex was saying earlier on. We've now got a crisp box full of loads of British chips, as you Hato call them. Chips. And then we also have a Cadbury's box as well. Yeah. So head down to the link if you'd like to get yourself some. We hope you enjoyed that video and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.